This is a story about power. Not the kind people fight over, but the kind that runs your phone, your car, and maybe even your home. We use more energy than ever before. But storing that energy is a big problem. Right now, lithium batteries do most of the work. They're powerful, but they're also expensive, hard to get, and sometimes dangerous. That's where aluminum comes in. It's cheaper, safer, and easier to find. For a long time, no one paid much attention. But now, things are starting to change. Could this simple metal lead the way? Let's take a closer look. A world hungry for power. Every year, the world needs more energy, more lights, more screens, more cars that run without gas. We're using cleaner sources now, like solar panels and wind turbines, but they don't always give power when we need it. The sun doesn't shine at night. The wind doesn't always blow. So we need a way to hold on to that energy and use it later. That's where batteries come in. Batteries are like the heart of the clean energy future. Without them, solar and wind can't do much. That's why countries, companies, and scientists are all searching for better ways to store power. The more power we use, the more storage we need. And not just for the power grid. Think of your phone, laptop, or car. All of them depend on batteries. From smart homes to silent electric buses, everything modern runs on stored energy. And as we move toward more renewable sources, storage becomes even more important. The challenge is growing fast. Right now, lithium-ion batteries are doing most of the work. They're strong and reliable, but cracks are forming. Lithium is getting harder to find. It's expensive, and mining it can hurt the planet. We need something new, something better. A battery that's easy to make, safe to use, and good for the Earth. That's why some people are starting to look at something very old. Aluminum. And maybe that quiet metal holds the answer. The lithium legacy. For years, lithium-ion batteries have been the best we've had. They power almost everything. Your phone, your laptop, your electric car. Even huge batteries that store solar and wind energy use lithium. These batteries are light. They hold a lot of power. And they last a long time. That's why they became so popular. The science behind them is smart. Lithium is a light metal. It can move ions back and forth quickly, which is what creates energy flow. This makes lithium batteries fast and powerful. They also don't lose charge easily when not in use. For a while, it felt like they were the perfect solution. Big companies built entire industries around them. Tesla, Apple, Samsung, even power grids now rely on lithium batteries to help balance energy during the day and night. Over 90% of large-scale battery storage systems in the world are lithium-based. That's how far they've come. But as the world changes, our needs change too. We want more storage, but at a lower cost. We want safer materials. And we want batteries that don't depend on rare resources. Lithium has done well, but its time at the top may not last forever. Because there's something else waiting. What we don't talk about. Lithium batteries have helped shape the modern world. But there's another side to the story, one we don't often hear. Mining lithium isn't easy. It takes huge amounts of water and energy. It leaves behind waste. In some places, it damages land that people depend on for farming and life. The demand is rising fast, and that puts pressure on nature and on the people who live near these mines. Then there's the safety problem. Lithium batteries can catch fire if something goes wrong. You've probably heard stories, phones overheating, electric cars bursting into flames, and even planes being grounded because of battery risks. These aren't common, but they happen often enough to raise concern. And cost is another issue. Lithium isn't cheap. 
As more companies try to buy it, the price keeps going up. That makes batteries more expensive to make and harder for everyone to afford. People are working on fixes, better recycling, safer designs, cleaner mining. But these take time. And even if we improve all those things, we still face one simple truth. Lithium is limited. It's not everywhere. And it won't last forever. So now, the world is asking a quiet but important question. What can we use instead? The case for aluminum. Aluminum is everywhere. It's in soda cans, airplanes, and kitchen foil. It's the most common metal in Earth's crust. And now, scientists think it might hold the key to the next big battery breakthrough. Unlike lithium, aluminum is cheap and easy to find. It doesn't need rare mining operations. It's already widely recycled, and it doesn't catch fire the way lithium sometimes does. That alone makes it safer. But there's something even more interesting about aluminum. Its ability to carry energy. Each aluminum ion can carry three electrons. Lithium can only carry one. That means, in theory, aluminum could hold much more energy in the same space. If that power can be unlocked, aluminum batteries might charge faster, last longer, and cost less than anything we use today. And because aluminum is more stable, these batteries could work better in extreme conditions, like high heat or long storage. That opens new doors, safer cars, longer lasting phones, better energy storage for homes. It's not just a small improvement, it could be a game changer. But turning that potential into reality takes more than good ideas. It takes research, testing, and a way to bring it all to the real world. That's where the story gets interesting. Now first, like always, be sure to hit the like button down below. It helps us out tremendously with the reach of this video. Thank you. How Aluminum Ion Works To understand aluminum ion batteries, we need to start with the basics. Every battery has two ends, the anode and the cathode. Between them, there's a space where ions move through something called an electrolyte. When the ions flow, electricity is created. That's how your phone charges, how a car moves, or how a solar panel stores energy. In lithium batteries, lithium ions move back and forth. In aluminum ion batteries, it's aluminum ions doing the work. But there's a big difference. Aluminum can carry more charge. One aluminum ion can carry three electrons, while one lithium ion carries only one. That means more energy can move with fewer ions. The design is slightly different, too. Aluminum batteries need materials that can handle the size and behavior of these more powerful ions. One promising material is graphene, a special form of carbon that's strong, light, and incredibly thin. When aluminum ions move into the graphene layers, they fit into tiny holes, hold energy, and then move out again when power is used. It's fast, stable, and surprisingly simple. The idea sounds perfect. But in science, ideas need proof. That proof began to show up in a lab halfway across the world, with a group ready to take a chance. The GMG Breakthrough In Australia, Researchers at the University of Queensland teamed up with a company called Graphene Manufacturing Group, or GMG. Their goal was clear, turn aluminum ion batteries from theory into something real. What they created was a new kind of battery made from just two materials, aluminum and graphene. Their method was clever. Instead of using ordinary carbon, they used layers of graphene made with a special plasma process. This allowed them to shape the graphene in a way that fit the aluminum ions perfectly. Tiny holes were formed during production, just the right size to hold and release the aluminum ions. The result? A battery that charges up to 70 times faster than a regular lithium battery. It didn't overheat. It didn't need fancy cooling systems and it used materials that are common and safe. 
Craig Nickel, the CEO of GMG, said something simple but powerful. It's just carbon and aluminum. But the truth is, that simplicity could change everything. Their battery charged a phone in minutes. It held power well, and it worked in heat that would break most lithium batteries. It's still early. They're testing, improving, but they've shown what's possible. And now the race to make it better and bigger has begun. Aluminum versus lithium in the real world. In the lab, almost anything can look good. But the real test is how a battery works in everyday life. That's where aluminum starts to shine. Lithium ion batteries need cooling systems, especially in electric cars or big storage units. If they get too hot, they can swell, catch fire, or fail. Aluminum ion batteries don't have that problem. They stay cooler because of how aluminum and graphene handle heat. That means fewer risks and possibly even smaller, lighter battery packs. Craig Nicole explained it this way. Aluminum and carbon are both excellent at moving heat away. That's what keeps the battery stable, even during fast charging. In tests, the GMG battery didn't just stay safe, it charged incredibly fast. A phone could reach full power in just a few minutes. In the future, that could mean electric cars charging as fast as we fuel up today. And when it comes to recycling, aluminum wins again. It's already one of the most recycled materials on the planet. Lithium, on the other hand, is still tricky and expensive to reuse. We're not there yet. Lithium still rules the market. But aluminum is no longer a dream. It's becoming something you can hold in your hand. Something real. Not every breakthrough makes headlines. Some happen quietly. In labs. In small teams. In simple materials like aluminum and carbon. But they can still change the world. We're standing at the edge of something new. A future where energy is safer, cleaner, and more affordable. Aluminum ion batteries may not replace lithium overnight, but they offer something rare. Hope. Hope that we don't have to keep choosing between power and the planet. I hope that better solutions are already taking shape. Maybe one day, the battery in your car or your phone won't be made from something rare, but from something that was always right in front of us.